A couple months ago, the company Free Design sent out the tree lens for me to review, and I did so with an initial review on my channel already. If you want to check that out, please check out the link up here in the card or in the description below. This video right here is a bit of an update to that review, just to make sure that you know that not just have I done an initial review, but I actually used this over the course of a couple of months, many shoots and in different scenarios. Now, generally speaking, my opinion from the initial review did not really change that much. This is a really good design and it helps you be more flexible with the lens choice that you want to have available to you during a day of shooting, maybe hiking and similar things. Of course, in many circumstances, you have your backpack right there and maybe you have it off to the side where you are doing your shoot and you can just switch out lenses that way. But if you, for example, shoot an event where you really have to move around a lot, or you are doing a lot of locations right after another and you don't necessarily want to have a big backpack also to carry around, then this can be a lifesaver. And in my opinion, this already can be in some circumstances when you just have your backpack a couple like 20, 40 meters away, then this is already incredibly valuable because you don't have to put your lenses on the ground while switching between them. Now I am using zoom lenses, but for someone who is doing prime lenses, this might actually be even more important because of course you will have to switch out lenses a lot more often if you are not one of those shooters who just use one focal length and one focal length only. Now generally the carry and the feel of the tree lens is incredible. It is easy to attach to your hip with a belt the heaviest lens always points down to the ground and it is incredibly easy to also detach the whole thing from your hip so that you actually have just the lenses in your hand and that way you can actually set down the lenses individually and you still have the holder on your belt so that you can just put them back onto your body. Now I had no issues whatsoever with the weight that I am carrying. However, for me, the heaviest lens is the 15 to 35 millimeter. And I don't usually use, for example, a 70 to 200 with a F 2.8. The one that I have here is the F 4.0 and that is significantly less heavy. But in this category, I really don't have to complain about anything because Free Design actually made this plate or this holder in a way that the weight is evenly distributed and nicely not cutting into your bones or your flesh or something like that. So that way they are really good in that regard and you have a really good time carrying this. Now, however, I did find one particular issue that I thought could have been made better or at least designed in a different way. And that is actually something that I also communicated with them. And maybe at some point they are doing a version two or whatever, maybe that is going to go in there. And that has everything to do with the RF mount that they built here. Now, from what I understand, the RF mount is not really public. So they had to measure out their own data here to make this RF mount connection or this bayonet connection here to be actually able to produce this for RF camera lenses. Now, the issue that I found is that all of the lenses that I use have a rubber gasket around the connection part of the bayonet. So you have a rubber gasket going all around the lens right there for the weather sealing. Now, on the other hand, however, this here is slightly too small for the rubber gasket to actually engage with anything on the side of the tree lens. And that particular is a problem in my opinion, because this way dust and water and moisture can enter into the rear of the lens by having this a little bit too open for my personal taste. Now, again, this is not necessarily a deal breaker, but if you are in an incredibly dusty environment, maybe it is a better idea to simply use lens caps that are from the original camera or the original lens so that you don't have that issue and you don't get any dust into your camera. But on the other hand, if you are in an incredibly dusty environment, like you're doing a trip through the Sahara or something, you should probably not switch lenses when you are outside anyways and only do that if at all when you are inside of a controlled environment where you don't have that much dust or sand flying around. But generally in the use case that I had, I have no issues. My lenses are not necessarily much dirtier than they were before. However, I still wanted to mention it here because I think that this is an area where this connection could be improved and make all this even better. But other than that, I don't think there's much I can add to the other video and I highly recommend you watch that as well. It is linked in the description. But for someone who wants to shoot with two or three or maybe even four lenses, because you can put three on here and have one on the camera. However, 
part, I personally use this most of the time with one lens on the camera and two lenses on the tree lens because that way I can take off the camera lens from here, put it onto the mount right there, and then just choose one of the other two lenses and put that back onto the camera. So this way I don't have anything on the ground ever. Now that's everything that I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's always greatly appreciated. And with all that said, have an amazing day, make it your life, and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.